Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south, I'll be spreading out So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and amazing CGA and VFX advertising animation with using only After Effects 2025 version, right? Guys, this time I'm not using any third party add on and plugin for this tutorial. And see, guys, that's my really amazing work, right? And second one, guys, you can download all assets and project files from my website free. Okay, so guys, firstly, click on here new composition from footage check and guys, select this one. This is my clip, so import, yeah, right? And now, next one, guys, click on here. This is my track camera check. So guys, click on here and go to on here, advanced. See guys, that's my detail analysis check. Yeah. Okay, so guys, my tracking is finished. See guys, that's my tracking data. So firstly guys, select flow like this and right click. Guys, firstly, set ground plane on origin check. And one more time, right click, create solid and camera check. Yeah, this is my tracking data and now guys, I apply two viewpoint. See guys, that's my view. So I like two and second one guys, I like top view panel. This one, this is my top. Yeah. And now next one, guys, select your, this one track solid and press R. So guys, fit 200% check this one. Yes. And guys, little bit rotate. Yes. And guys, now increase size. So go to on here, top view panel. So guys, select and increase size like this and more. So guys, shift to position and guys, more. Little bit back and again rotate and guys, increase size like this and little bit change position. Yeah, perfect. Right? See, guys, that's my like a road and now guys little bit more increase size i apply to corner yes perfect see guys, that's my simple tracking okay so now next one guys play yeah it's my flow okay so guys now this tracking is perfect and guys again play yeah see guys it's my flow tracking so guys, my flow tracking is perfect. And next one guys, I apply this time side view. So select this video clip and select this 3D camera data. So guys, now next one, select only three points on left side and right click, create solid check. Yes. And guys, this time right side, click on here. Select only three points, right click, create solid check. Yes. So guys, go to here and guys closer little bit back yeah this wall is perfect like this and right click create solid so guys i apply on right side and select right click create solid guys you can apply more tracking plane is dependent on your work so last time i show you one more option yeah and right click Create solid check. Yes, that's it, guys. Okay, so now next one, guys, play. Yeah, perfect. It's my 3D camera tracking. Okay, so guys, now next one, I apply 3D models. Guys, I have some 3D objects. So go to one here. Guys, I already download some 3D model from Sketchfab. See, guys, it's my 3D objects, right? And now, guys, I apply one by one on this one objects. So go to one project and right click import and import file. So guys, 3D model, select all and apply check. Yeah. And now guys, select this one. This is my Nike one. So apply. Yes. And guys, firstly, make com site check and press OK. And guys, go to on zero frame so guys i change scale size this is my 3d model yes and go to on up like this 
yes perfect right and guys i increase size so like a 500 yeah and guys i change this time position and rotation so guys guys i change this time view angle so go to one left side see guys that's my 3d object and closer and little bit up like this see it's my composition right see that's my flow and it's my object yes guys position is good okay so now next one guys rotate so press r and rotate your object and now guys next one i apply one more object so select so simple drag and drop on here and make com size check and press ok and now guys little bit change scale size so press s letter s and scale size like a 70 so now next one guys i apply this 3d object on this side so select this flow and press p this is my position and position copy so guys select this one 3d model press p and position paste so guys shortcut command is control v simple yeah it's my position and guys viewport one is perfect and fit 200 percent check yes and rotate so guys press r and rotate your object so rotation 90 and change guys this time location change yeah it's good and go to on top view panel top view check so guys little bit change position and also rotation so go to one here and rotation change yes perfect see guys, that's my flow and it's my object like a nine and attach on this flow my 3d object yes perfect and go to an active camera with 20 percent check yes position is perfect see and also guys i change scale size so press s letter and scale size uh 60 yeah 60 is good okay so guys now next one i apply third object so simple drag and drop and make com size check and press ok so guys select this one and press p and position copy so go to on here this is my nike 3 and position paste yes and also guys i change rotation so press r rotation change like this is little bit change position and go to down yes great okay so guys this position is perfect and again play yeah and now next one guys i apply more object on this one so guys go to on here little bit back so guys select this one this is my fourth model and simple drag and drop an object so guys make com size check and press ok so guys select this one and press p so guys position copy select this fourth 3d model and position paste yes simple and increase scale size so press s letter so scale size increase yeah and rotate so press r so rotation change like a minus 90 and guys go to one yes great see guys it's my composition and guys go to one top view panel top guys little bit rotate your objects this one and guys rotate yes and front yeah perfect and same active camera fit 200 percent check yeah okay so lastly guys select this one 3d model and guys simple drag and drop on main com and make com size check and press ok so guys select this one press p and position copy select last object and p and position paste yes so guys increase scale size s letter like a 500 and rotate so press r and rotation change like a 90 yeah 
and guys lastly go to top view panel so guys little bit up and so rotation change yes so closer yeah perfect and active camera so fit 200% check yes see guys that's my object and little bit back little bit yes great and lastly guys i apply this time logo this is my nike logo so import and simple drag and drop and make com size check so guys go to on top view panel and see guys that's my logo so guys i apply logo on this side so go to on here and closer yeah and active camera and go to on here yes so guys little bit up yeah and increase and change scale size like a 80 yes great so guys this time i create rotation animation so guys for rotation go to on here and guys this time i apply on uh, 15 second is perfect 15 press n and go to on first so guys rotation change so press r and guys rotation i create rotation like this yeah so z check like a minus 2 and lastly guys 15 frame and rotation 0 so guys select your frame and press f9 yeah perfect right and now guys go to back and play okay see guys that's my beautiful composition and now guys i change resolution so guys take a lots of time so guys i take half and again go to back and play yeah perfect okay so guys now next one i apply lighting guys my composition is perfect and also guys you can hide this flow the actually this one tracking data hide so option is and guys i show you my shadow catcher so guys select this one this is my front and go to on here this is my material option and guys see accept shadow i take only yes and guys i apply same option so tracking and go to on here material so sh accept shadow i take only yes guys same setting yes great guys i apply accept shadow only on all tracking points and now next one guys i apply sdr image so import and import file and guys go to back guys i have sdr image so select and import yeah and simple drag and drop on main com see guys that's my sdr image so and right click and go to an arc and right click guys this time i take light and light type i like environment and shadow catcher check and guys shadow darkness double i like 200 is perfect and see guys that's my source so i apply sdr image like this yeah see guys that's my beautiful lighting actually beautiful shadow effect right it's my shadow so guys you can change rotation and go to on here transform so guys rotation change like this yeah this angle is perfect for me like a 200 yes and now guys rotate your x rotation randomly change like this minus your yeah, minus 10 is perfect guys you can set your lighting is or uh, your work yeah this lighting and shadow is perfect for me and guys little bit more okay little bit check yes perfect right see guys it's my shadow and lighting and now next one guys i increase light intensity like a 150 yes okay it's too much 130 yeah this lighting is perfect for my composition and now guys final render setting go to one here advanced this is my advanced 3d and render option check guys render best 
setting is 32 yes and smoothness alex 16 and fit to screen check and press ok guys take a lots of time for rendering yeah see guys that's my beautiful work beautiful composition right okay so guys that's it my work is finished guys take a lots of time for preview because this is my so much heavy effect and use full guys my composition is perfect and shadow is really beautiful right okay so guys that's it my final work is finished it's my final work and guys for render go to on here and compositing add render queue and guys see that's my output format guys you can use h264 depending on your work but i like jpeg sequences and format maximum and press ok so go to an output and create new folder like this new folder this is my render and take a name like a render render and save check and render check okay so guys this is my render okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download all project files and assets from my website free thank you please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah please tell me all the bad never good fill my head full of every single doubt yeah please say any negative thoughts i pop off when i hear people say i cannot i get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong i won't stop to the top so you better back off again lost i'ma stay loud stay proud never running out never heading south i'll be spreading out call it what i'm